Today we're at Heathrow Airport on uh, one of Qantas's amazing A380s. Obviously I've done a huge amount of travel in my 15 years of uh, being uh, a racing driver so with that comes an, uh, an interest I suppose of uh, how they work and um, also been a bit of an interest in meteorology I think and also navigation and things like that so um, yeah there's a natural trend I suppose when you have a bit more time in your hands that you might um, you know, look to take to the skies. We're looking at helping Mark uh, establish exactly what sort of pilot he would like to be. Um, we have a captain on board and he'll be mentoring Mark in the future when it comes to uh, helping him with access to simulators, flying simulators in Australia and giving some guidance on what it involves to become a pilot. I've actually been asked to mentor Mark Webber and help him uh, towards his goal of getting his pilot's licence. So I'll look forward to working with Mark and ensuring that he gets the best training outcomes and that he gets through the course successfully and uh, at the end of it I'll certainly look forward to flying with Mark. See how they disappear there now because yeah. I've turned that flight director off. They're in a managed mode and we actually now control engine thrust down through this Well the A380 obviously is a, is a ginormous aircraft, we know that. Um, has lots of different classes in it. Uh, yeah, huge business class section upstairs here which uh, again is a, is, a, is a phenomenally special layout in terms of how many uh, business class passengers you can get on on this type of plane, so uh, yeah, very lucky for the consumer, it's good. I suppose any sportsman or woman have a, a general knack of hand-eye coordination, obviously that's not everything to do with the pilot, but obviously having a, a good feel for manoeuvring and positioning an aircraft, whether it's you know, obviously on takeoff and landing or even you know, flying, flying the air, obviously making decisions in a competitive environment, which I do obviously is very similar to be able you know, to fly a plane. I'm feeling very confident going to Silverstone. I just got off the back of a, a pretty solid result, or solid couple of results actually. So uh, I feel that my race driving has been uh, very good on Sunday afternoons. Uh, Silverstone, I won the race last year, so trying to defend, uh, I suppose, that, that title if you like. I think the new regulation changes have certainly made a huge difference to the viewer watching it on TV. Uh, certainly given us more grey hairs, the drivers and the teams trying to predict how the races are going to unfold. I think for the majority of the people, they just want to watch some action. The championship, unfortunately, has got he's got a good buffer at the moment. But we're seeing stranger things happen in sport, you know. Uh, two, two tough weekends that can change in 10 days. Yes, the odds are with him, but uh, we've seen those change many times. There's uh, a lot of talk with my own team at the moment, so that's uh, the most important thing. Pretty keen to stay there. They're uh, very, very, very keen to keep me, so, um, you know, that's uh, how it's looking. If I keep the motivation high and I'm driving well in the car, then uh, no reason why I can't go around again next year. With Red Bull, do you think? Likely.